Formula One is heading out to the kingdom of Saudi Arabia for round number two of the 2024 season. Round number one, we saw Carlos Sainz coming home in third place, Sergio Perez in second, and Max Verstappen winning the uh, first race of the year, which meant we had the Dutch and Austrian uh, national anthem combination. And I believe we're not going to see that this Saturday night in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia because we're going to see the Mexican an Austrian anthem combination because Sergio Perez will win the 2024 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix over his teammate Max Verstappen, who will come home in second place. And in life, you got life, death, and taxes. We also got the start of the year Sergio Perez hot streak, and I believe it's going to continue into the year of 2024. Because, remember folks, the last two years, Sergio Perez had a very hot start to the year. And you're going to Monaco saying, hey, Perez got a chance here. He has a chance to win the championship this year. And after that, he'll fall apart and uh, people will start questioning his future with Red Bull. So, I'm also going to go with that this weekend in Saudi Arabia. Sergio Perez wins and he's going to be going in uh, with the fastest lap, obviously, to the next race in Melbourne, uh, tied up with Verstappen in the championship points. If that's the case, oh my gosh, get ready for all of the promotion for the Australian Grand Prix, because I don't believe after that, it's not going to be close at all. Uh, but Sergio Perez will win the 2024 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Max Verstappen will come home in second place. Carlos Sainz will come in third. And I believe Carlos Sainz has a lot to prove this year, just because of the fact that he got fired for Lewis Hamilton. He believed, and I believe, it should have been the other way around. They should have got rid of Charles Leclerc and not Carlos Sainz. And um, now I'm going to go to my biggest surprise, which is going to be Zhou Guan Yu. I believe the stake F1 car in Saudi Arabia is going to perform a lot better than it did out in Bahrain. And I believe the downforce levels are going to play into their favor. The biggest flop, however, is going to be Lando Norris, I believe, Saudi Arabia. It's just going to be a brutal one for him and McLaren, so uh, not a good feeling there. But there you go. There's my 2024 Formula One Saudi Arabian Grand Prix predictions. What do you think? Comment down below.